here. This one depends on the size of the ponds. If you have rectangles, uh, different shapes of ponds, the most important is not is not how far. The most important is how how much your paddle wheels can reach. If you have a uh, hundred a hundred meters, you have only twelve to thirteen meters. So which means you have forty meters on each side to bring in. So you have you have a long arms to do this uh, work. It all works well as long as you have the paddle wheels pull to the center, like the way we saw on the second second pond yesterday. They have they have a bamboo stick there. That's the centerized station, and each on the on the edge of that each pole, they have paddle wheels already next to it. So everything will be centrifuged uh, centrif uh, centrif into the center by the natural gravity itself. And doing that, you can suck out the leftover fat and also fecal, fecal matters to feed ex, ex, uh, another fish as well. So this is uh, the ponds I was talking about. When you look, when you look at the pond through a quick water, you don't see what's inside because we already passed those stage before. This one is uh, two meters, two meters here. And another two meters over here will become an un anoxic condition. There will be very low oxygen level in this area. But the fish and other Aquatic animals can also survive around out of the center of the pond. So this is uh, is like having a denitrification process in anoxic condition in your system. And we fill it up the water, and this is where we stood yesterday over here, and all the the, the water for through here. So the retention from here to here, we pump out 10 cubic meters, 10 cubic meters, but this one is 6,000 cubic meters. So you have 600 days retention for each pump. So it's a very long retention because normally when you have a, a, a system for IAS, they use one grow out and one recirculating. They pump in, to the recirculating and they immediately pump out. So we just make a sequence. So the water does not directly come back to the pond water, so they have enough time to treat themselves naturally. This is the pond we saw yesterday, and the fish were here. See, when you pump out the sludge through here, this one, they have a, they have a, a little next here, and the next there, and one more next here. So the retention here very, very long. It takes many, many, many days before from the first to the last. So this is the natural bio biological filtration itself. We have catfish, and we have carps, and here we have a small tilapia. But the, the whole system, not more than 2,000. It's, it's not a fish that we culture for, for sale. It's a fish we culture for filtration. Yes. But this solution can a very high profitability. The fish, you don't feed them, but they will follow you. Once they hear you walking, they believe they are your friends. Because why they are our friends? Because they do all the work for us.
is a highlight. The area was 6,400 square meter, is 1.6 depth, which means we have a total capacity of 10,000 cubic meters of water and take there with one meter. We stock 900,000 pieces of fries. Density is up 140 pieces per square meter. This is very high, but not as high as those experts. But for us, it's very high. We harvested on October 2nd before I reached Singapore. I reached Singapore on 7th. I need data to go there. So we need to know exactly what was the survival rate. So let's do the harvest. Get the result. Do something to see if we have failed again. DOC of 71. We get 13.15 grams, 76 counts. ADG was 10.18353. The feet, 10,659 kilos. This one we use the feet because we don't have enough time to all do all this because the, the farm was underdeveloped. Also, why we doing the testing? So just do the convention. So the biomass was 10 tons, 10,300 kilos. In 71 days, I think this is a good biomass for 71 days. We can do four cycles per year. Definitely, we can do four cycles. Did someone walk into the pond yesterday? Who was it? Yeah. Yeah. How was the sludge? How was the soil section? Any soil? They, they, they swallow you. <laughs> Any smell? No smell at all. Just leave it there 13 days, get ready to pump. And that's what it. We don't need to do any more other things besides pumping it. When you look at this one, pump operation, Copy, copy parts and operation. The fee total of 449,000 baht. Electric 130,000 baht. Fries 90,000 baht. Labors 84,000 baht. Salt, minerals, everything 60,000 baht. Everything topped up. Let's do the maximize whatever farmer want to spend. Let's, let's, all this over overestimated. I overpriced it. You see, rice bran, 23,000 baht. Total of 865,390. The biomass of 10 tons, 84 baht per kilo, 2.4 US dollars. In 76 pounds, how much price? Four or five dollars per sale. So they, the farmers can earn 100%. But what is the most important is Number one cost. I've been so many conference. I have never seen anyone declare all their individual breakdown cost. The way we do, we want to know exactly what was the cost, and this is how we discover all the cost. PC cake and rice bran, the least expensive but the most profitable farmers can get from using this process. This is a FSY, fermented soya. This is an experiment trial, and it's growing, and it's growing, and it's growing. Okay, let me finish off the session. And then the, our concept, biomimicry, is a solution for wellness. This is all the themes we have today. You can follow me through Thai Organic Tree Facebook. Very simple. You can be friends together. And thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Uh, uh, dear uh, faculties of AIT, Dr. Celine, and all my work has been inspired by Dr. Nantal doing the bioflocks and I have learned so much from his theories and methods of the applies. 
and it was so great an honor that I have hosted you all yesterday to the farms to visit something uh, a little bit slightly different than what we have done in the past and I hope you all enjoy the, 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 the methods that we have applied and the scenery of the kings of Thailand of Siam and the nice beautiful lovely dinner we had last night. Thank you for all coming to Thailand. Invite some feedback from the participants. <coughs> some feedback in the short words. My name is Shirin Yasuda from Court Institute for Scientific Research. Uh, just to summarize my feedback, it is, um, I've never been in any of the countries in the Far East, and I'm so impressed of what I've seen here. Uh, the, uh, the workshop was really useful. We get lots of information. I would like to thank Dr. Nayan, Chalon, Vera Sun, Dr. Salin, and his team for the organization. Uh, the schedule was so busy, but we get involved in, in, in every single thing, and uh, I'm sure that we will apply uh, what we learned here in Kuwait. We are, we're just starting the shrimp aquaculture program, and we've been now exposed to many of the practices in uh, Asia, and it's really useful for us to learn from what the people done for uh, the, the past. So, thank you. and. Also, I would like to thank the participants who had a, a, a wonderful uh, time with them. I really enjoyed the, their company. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm Soton. I'm from the Myanmar Fisheries Federation. And I think I'm a, a, a elder group of this treaty. And I thank uh, the organizer, Dr. Salen, and his group. And we have been bombarded with many ideas. And then this is a very uh, recent technology. And then this is for us now to disseminate and put in our country. So we have been uh, uh, a little bit backward. And still, our industry has to go. And I would like to request Dean also to support us. So what, with the help of the organizing team and also the presenter, I would like to repeat that to some of our universities, what you have uh, sent it to us. And then uh, if you kindly uh, you know, grant us, and then I hope in the near future some of the people will respond and come to the IT. So I think like now please help the Myanmar group also. And then I learn a lot and then we will disseminate what we have learned and then uh, we can go back to our platform and the we have used for the industry to improve. Thank you. I think they took another 
different directions, very different than here in Thailand or in the Asian countries. Uh, but uh, what I found is the what you're doing here in the Asian countries is not just very nice, and I, I think you are doing very well, very well. And for me, it's a kind of innovation, and I will I, I learn a lot in these few days. I would like to thanks to the lecturers. I would like to thanks the IT institution, their staff, Dr. Sadin, 